The North Cascade Institute's Environmental Learning Center is on the banks of Lake Diablo, and they're dedicated to teaching both children and adults about the ecology of the Cascade Mountains. Seattle City Light, as part of its commitment to maintain this high altitude water resource, helped to build this environmental laboratory. North Cascades National Park is one of the largest wilderness areas in the lower 48. Wolves, grizzlies, and 25% of the nation's glaciers lie within this rugged park's boundaries. This is one of the gems of the national park system. It is also one of the most unique partnerships anywhere. Long before it became a national park, Seattle City Light built a hydroelectric system in the middle of this wilderness. Then in 1968, the North Cascades National Park was formed. And then just a few years ago, the North Cascades Institute built an environmental learning center here. There's this really interesting juxtaposition between uh, some of the most wild lands uh, in the United States and uh, meeting the demands of uh, modern society in Seattle. By that, he means City Light's Skagit Hydroelectric Project, which provides about 17% of Seattle's energy needs. In the middle of it is this uh, industrial complex uh, that generates uh, 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 kilowatts that uh, flow to Seattle. Environmental stewardship is paramount to City Light, and that's why the National Park and the North Cascades Institute's Learning Center are not competing interests with the utility, but rather partners. Seattle City Light Superintendent Jorge Carrasco. This project and the work that I think all three organizations have been involved in is uh, a symbol of how you can complement the important role that the environment plays as well as the important value uh, our community gets from the facilities that we operate up here in this area. Saul Weisberg is the executive director of the North Cascades okay. Institute. As far as I know there's no other partnership like that uh, in the country that's designed to do education. The North Cascades Institute's Learning Center was holding a celebration. The facility just earned Silver LEED certification. That stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. This facility truly earned it. From the roofs of the building that are the same color of the nice granite found in the surrounding mountains, to the wood floors recycled from old schools, to the actual footprint of the learning center. In fact, from the water, it's hard to tell this facility is even here. And what was here on this site were a bunch of abandoned, old, rundown buildings that had been moved here, but had served as uh, construction quarters for people when they were building Rostam. Asphalt roads were removed, and where they could, they even built in the same location as the cabins so as to disturb the land even less. The restaurant from an old lodge here was also recycled, remodeling it instead of building new. Thousands of tons of construction debris were reclaimed. Gutter systems were built to reclaim water, and the materials used to build the center were also sustainable. A lot of uh, Forest Stewardship Council certified wood in the building. These, the exterior cedar siding right here, uh, a lot of it came from the Queen Charlotte Islands, from the Haida Gwaii Band, who have a sustainable logging operation. A lot of the cement has uh, a lot of fly ash in it, which is a bulking agent. Uh, and actually, it was the Park Service staff grew over 22,000 plants uh, in our greenhouse uh, here, and then worked with the North Cascades Institute and volunteers and uh, replanted um, these native uh, indigenous plants around on the site. And they're now growing up, uh, effectively uh, creating the impression that, that this is sited in an area that was relatively undisturbed. I think for us, LEED certification is a recognition that we tr we're trying to do the right thing. And that um, the partnership, the city and the park, and the institute, we're all committed to doing this from the beginning. Even when we didn't need to do it, the decision is like, this is the right way to go when we're building in a national park. We have this LEED certified um, place that is uh, a focal point for bringing kids, families, uh, people to be to come and be connected to the Cascades, uh, to be, come and be connected to their national park, come and be connected to uh, their public lands that also serves as the place for generating a significant portion of Seattle's power. Try to put your hand over the water as much as you can. And the learning opportunities abound in the North Cascades now. Before the Environmental Learning Center was built, Teaching kids and families about the environment was limited by weather and seasons. People can now stay in this beautiful facility year-round versus 
trying to deal with fickle weather conditions in a campground. Particularly when you're here in the mountains and as you start to move through the school year, when you start to move into, into November or when you're trying to do things in uh, February or in March, um, weather can start to uh, uh, take away from the opportunity to learn. Saul Weisberg of the North Cascades Institute and Chip Jenkins from the National Park have one thing to say to Seattleites, come visit. We have this incredible facility uh, you know, with great food, great lodging, access to trails. And what we do here in the spring and the fall is we have school programs, elementary, middle, and high school programs are here. Uh, we have a really extensive program for families, uh, really extensive programs for adults and teachers. And then using this as a kind of a doorway to walk into the wildlands of the park, we have programs in the summer that take high school kids from Seattle and this summer of high school kids from all over the country out onto Ross Lake for two weeks in canoes or a month to study glaciers and climate change here. So it's a, it's a, it's a great doorway into what's you know, really in our backyard. So there you have it, a great vacation stop this summer. And speaking of summer, why not visit the Skagit Hydroelectric Project? It's less than three hours from Seattle and you have all these recreational opportunities. For more information, you can go to SkagitTours.com. Thank you for catching up with all the latest news on Seattle City Light. I'm Kelly Gunther. Have yourselves a great summer.